Hey guys, <laughs> yes, it's your girl again. Yes, so if you're new year, okay, it's your girl again, Bossy Noala. Of course, enter wealth. That is the meaning of that name, Bossy Noala. And um, today I'm going, okay, let me welcome you. If you're watching my video for the first time, I welcome you especially. I feel like singing for you. I welcome you especially to my channel. Thank you for clicking this video. <laughs> I really appreciate it. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. I really do not take it for granted. I am truly, 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 truly grateful. It shows that you want me. It shows that you love me and I love you too. It shows that you believe so much in me. Thank you so much. And if you've not subscribed, I know that you're, you're like waiting and let me see what she's, let me know what she's made up. Let me, let me see if she has something good, nice, nice for me. Yes. I, you can subscribe. I will not disappoint you. Okay, you are free to subscribe. And if you are wondering, so if you are subscribing, it's free. There's no charge. It's just free. Just for you to click the subscribe button, like, comment. If you have any comment for me, constructive comments. You understand? Not like you will go and say something. I'll go thinking somewhere. Just constructive um, comments. You can like put it on my page. And you like if you notice that okay you're not doing this and doing this thing this way because I'm I'm new on YouTube you can actually make corrections yes so um, that's that so the business for today is you know when I was if you've not watched my get to know me video you can always like watch it after after this uh, video I already said I'm going to be talking about our Christian work. Yes, and I've decided to, I've decided and concluded to name my own Christian um, sharing. Um, I titled it Faith Series. So this is my first Faith Series. And um, the backstory, you know, I knew that I was going to do a Faith Series this week. And what will I say? <laughs> that was the question. And yesterday night, uh, today is Saturday. Yes, today Saturday. I might probably be, not be uploading this pic, uh, this video the same day I'm um, shooting it. But then today is Saturday, and on Friday night, I knew I was going to film today because if I don't film on Saturday, I probably won't would, would not have the time to like film during the week. Yes, and you know YouTube is consistency. Yeah? You have to be, like be consistent. You don't have to go today, come back tomorrow. You have to be consistent so that your your subscribers will know that oh every week we get to see a video from this. They already know. So I knew that I was going to do a faith series this week, and then I like yesterday night when I was like Holy, Holy Spirit, what do you want me to talk about? So this is my fourth faith series. What do you want me to talk about? And I was about going to bed. I prayed like God. I knew I knew I wanted to study about what because I would not want to call me and then start saying rubbish, start saying egg experience without the backing of the word of God. So I prayed, Holy Spirit, lead me. I want to know what to talk about. Tell me what to talk about because I have a lot in my head to say. Just speak for me which one which one you think is relevant relevant for my viewers and I opened because I have a diary. I opened my diary where I do a lot of jotting. When I receive, when I see revelations about the Word of God, I write them down on my, in my diaries. I have a lot of books that I just quickly pin them down, scriptures and all. As I was going through them, and there seems to be nothing. You know, when the Holy Spirit wants you to do something, it, there have to be a promptings that come along with what you want to say. Because this is not a physical thing, this is a spiritual thing that deals with people's attitude. So you cannot just come and just say from your own flesh. It has to be from the spirit. So I was I have things in the book that I'm supposed to share. But if I come here and it's not in line with what the Holy Spirit wants, then it's not going to make any difference. So I was like checking what can I talk about? I was saying about this the urge to talk about them was not coming. Like the urge that I felt when I was writing them down was not coming. So I closed my diary and I was like, Holy Spirit, just have your way. I don't know what to say. Like, I'm confused. And then I picked my Bible. And then I, I have not even opened anywhere my Bible. And I just 
I was not receiving, I was still like blank and I was like, see, let me just go and sleep. Maybe, maybe when I wake up tomorrow morning, I'm maybe during my quiet time, the Holy Spirit might actually speak to me about something. And so I just opened my Bible. That was before I opened my Bible. So I just, okay, let me just read. Let me just open my Bible. And I opened my Bible and I hadn't even like concluded on which verse or chapter I want to read or which book I want to read. And then I just, the Holy Spirit now, you know the Bible say, the Holy Spirit will always bring to your uh, to your remembrance things of the past or I don't know how that scripture says it. So it just dropped. Like I said, wow. And the inspiration came. What I was actually live. So from there, I was able to open scripture and okay. And that is the background of today's series. And um, without further ado, let me just go right into today's video so today i'm going to be sharing about my recent encounter with god yes <laughs> recent encounter just three weeks ago so i when i was in school like when i was doing my bachelor's undergraduate in nigeria i was so faithful to Pain of my tithes. Uh, I don't joke. I pay my tithe, even though it was just pocket money from my parents. I pay. I tithe my. I pay my tithe. I was so regular with paying my tithe. When I was serving, you know, service. You know, after um, undergraduate in Nigeria, you have to go for a one year um, service, national youth um, service corps. You understand? You have to like go for it. Then that's where you serve the country for one year. I was still paying, I was still regular, I was still paying my fight. I don't joke with it. Then all of a sudden, I think the last time I paid my tithe was after my service here. And that day I was while I was paying my fight when I was serving, I, I was always giving it grudgingly. Why am I giving it? Like, why am I giving it? Like I don't give it with the whole of my heart. When I was in school, I give it with the whole of my heart. But when I was serving, I discovered that when I'm giving it, I was I was always giving it grudgingly. So the last time I paid tithe, I just went, you know, when they called for the tithe and stuff, I went out to drop my tithe. And I heard the Holy Spirit tell me that it's not acceptable. Yes, I, I could relate because there was so many confusion. I don't understand why I was giving my tithe. I don't know why I was giving it. So that was the last time I said, instead of it not available, um, acceptable, let me not Kukuma, give it again. Let me not give it again. <laughs> the Nigerian girl is playing out let me not give it again so i since then i stopped paying my tithe i give but i don't pay my tithe so there's a there's a there's a difference i give like give offering give to people but you see that side thing in i don't give it i don't give first fruits mm -mm. it was it's not it's not part of my christian work yes and i was okay with it I think maybe I can't remember. Maybe the Holy Spirit actually convicted me then, but I didn't like. Maybe maybe he said that I wasn't accepting. You know, when, when the Holy keeps telling you stuff and you don't do it, it stops. So it stopped, and I was cool with it. I was not paying tithe. You know, when they say pay tithe in church, I don't pay my tithe. Confession of I don't pay. So I moved. I relocated, and I came here. And on this day, I went to church. It was on a Sunday. No, before the church, you know, we have this um, service we used to hold because here in my village, <laughs> why do I keep saying village? My city here in Sweden, we don't have an African church where, you know, this redeemed, deeper life, MFM, there's nothing like that here. There's no Nigerian church here. It's majorly a white church. So, there's one there's one of those white church we attend and then they, they, they were so kind enough to like create a small room for like Africans, the Arabians, the you know, they, they create that um, room that okay you can have service every two Sundays, you can have your service there in the afternoon. So we have like that small group. So I used to go to that small group and then there was the okay, the small group as a leader. It has a leader. So one day, I don't know, out of nowhere, we're done with rehearsals, you know, choir rehearsals, and I don't know what we, we, what we were saying, and he just mentioned tithing, and I said, I don't tithe. And he was so surprised, I'm very sure he was so surprised, because he would be thinking, that, like, 
you are committed because when it comes to God's work, I don't take it for granted. I don't give God, I, I don't give God mediocrity. No, I give it my best. The best I can do, I give it to God. You get, I get, I said my best. It might not be your best, but my own best, I give it to God. I go all out for God, except the financial side. So he was so surprised. Like I am sure that that was he could not argue with me because even before he said something, I've been giving him back to back scriptures. Like read this, read. Um, I was telling him stories about how this Titan thing started, how this who Titan uh, who did Titan for it was Abraham. He gave it to me, and, and uh, I've forgotten the name of this prophet that was mentioned twice in the Bible. He gave it to uh, oh, I've forgotten. I'll put it, I'll put the name in the video when I'm editing. Yes, so that was that I you know I knew all these things and he didn't say anything and I appreciate the fact that he did not I, I learned from it. He didn't even argue with me. He was just laughing. And I told him, I said, and I I, mentioned, I remember I mentioned the statement that if Titan was a sin, the only spirit would have convicted me. And the only spirit is not convicting me, so it means that I don't have to tight. See. I am not. I am not coming here. I know that this Titan of it is a big issue in Nigeria. I don't know about other African countries, but it's it's really a big issue in Nigeria. So Titan, this word Titan, you have to be careful so that people would not like misquote you. You understand? You know this is a public space. You get. So I am not saying that you like I used to say. Don't make anybody your standard. Don't make, do not make you anybody your standard. And I believe that you cannot be sent, sent to everybody. I know this message might, is not, might not be for everybody, but it might be for somebody watching me who was also, who, who was also in my own shoes. That's why I need to share. This might be another way of God telling you, you know, this might be another way of God telling you. So he didn't argue with me. And it was the following Sunday, I went to church. It was, you know, I went to church and immediately I sat. It was not the African church. This was white church. I went immediately. I got to that service. In fact, I went late to that service. Immediately I settled down. They were they were singing, and a thought came. A thought. I forgot. Don't forget that I had forgotten about Titan. It was just random discussion after Riaza, and I, hey, <laughs> God, and I settled in that service. Oh God. And something just came, dropped into my mind, and it was saying, I, it, I was always imagining that ah, people used to give testimony that um, I was led to buy you a car, I was led to give you money, I was led to buy anything you want. So I was not like questioning God, why haven't I seen anybody led to come and give me stuff? And I was thinking, and instantly, <laughs> it's that like, it didn't even allow me to stop. You know when you put full stop or something? It didn't even allow me to put full stop. He said, what have you done to deserve such? That was the question. Not that I heard it. I knew it was the Holy Spirit because I knew I knew how the Holy Spirit speaks. I knew it was the Holy Spirit. There's no doubt about it. What have you done? And it speaks volume in my heart. It speaks so much volume. So it speaks so much volume in my heart. And I was just in the service. So when it was time for the word, and it was time for the word. Guess what? The preaching in that service was not about fighting, but it was about generosity. It was about generosity. And the way the pastor was preaching, mind you, it's not an African pastor. It's not a black pastor. You see, Europeans, they don't believe in the person most of them don't believe don't let me generalize most of them don't believe in the prosperity gospel yes so you should know that if this is not bias or any way nobody's trying to cajole you to give it was just preaching the word of god it was preaching generosity and it was as if it was speaking to me directly my see my friends my friends because you are my friends i went went home broken like the only thing that started expanding it in my heart. How much? How much is ten percent? So, you know, I'm not, I'm not, so what you are telling me is, you you like you are, like that money is so important to you that you cannot give 
ordinary 10%. Even if, even if it is not acceptable in the scripture, let's, let's leave the scripture. Even if it is not acceptable in the scripture, so you cannot give 10% of what you are earning and just say, God, I want to be giving you 10% of my income every month. You cannot do that. And you are claiming that. I'm not saying that God's love is... Sometimes the test of how you love God is how you give. Is that what you can sacrifice? It's not about all this mouth. Though. Action speaks louder than words. Yes. Sometimes action speaks louder. And... The other thing was expanding that. I felt so... I felt so... Ah! I felt so disappointed in myself. Like how much? How much is it? The hundred percent I've been eating all this way. Where did it take me to? What have I achieved with it? Now let me take you to the back story why I stopped giving tithe. There's this popular um, celeb in Nigeria. I would I would probably not mention the name. It talks a lot about tithing. Come like it's always speaking against tithing and stuff. There was this particular day I was working. I was still in Nigeria then, and I was I was in the office. You know, one of those days that you do, really don't have much to do in, in, at, in the office. So I went to his Instagram. I've been heading, I've been seeing little, little clips about him talking about tithing, coming against pastors and all. And I went, I took my time, I went to his Instagram page. I read it, carry Bible. And I started reading all the scriptures he was bringing out. And it was like, it was correct. What everything was saying was correct. It was so correct. I can't like... It, it was so, 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 so correct. And because of that, I stopped. No, not even because of that. Because of that, I solidify more my, like, I, it, I give myself more confidence because I had even stopped before going to his Instagram. So it gave me more, more confidence that I, 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 I'd have to be giving my time. And coupled with the fact that, I now started having this thinking that all these people that are, that are using private debt are having big cats. I mean, I'm still using my leg to work. I will not be using spoon to pour a time style ocean. Hey, <laughs> Jesus. And, hey, it was so funny. Like, because of that, I stopped. Do you know the reality? The reality is, all these pastors you are saying, I don't think our tights is one of the major see if we, if we don't give tithes to pastors they will be rich <laughs> they will be what they will be wealthy not only rich they will do you know why because they bless souls if you don't give your tithes people will sow into their life so don't can be having one belief that uh, because of you how much tithe are you giving so people are sowing heavily into the kingdom of God. If you don't give your time, people will still, do you mind? Okay, let's just just imagine one thousand congregation and you are blessing them daily. You are feeding them with the word of God. They will give you. There's no how they will give. They will. So I go to this like it goes to a stage. Then after the service, when I got home, I was like analyzing it in my head and I was so disappointed in myself. Like to this level that you got into. <laughs> this level, I know I'm still growing in, in Christ, but ah, 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 no, no, no. I am not saying, see, you can do your own research yourself. You can actually do research and ask for the Holy Spirit to like reveal to you. What is that thing that you are keeping? See, I knew that I've seen other dimensions of God work. I've seen God work in other dimensions. I've seen Him work. But you see that financial direction, eh? I've only seen little. If you want to really be explosive, we have seen people give testimonies about all these things. How, how God blesses people. Hmm. Hey. Ah, God, Holy Spirit, please expand your word. Expand your word in the heart of your people. Teach them to give, teach them what they need to know, just like you taught me, because I can't even explain how the Holy Spirit taught me. I can't put it into words, like I can't gather it into words right now. But I pray that this little that I said, the Holy Spirit will kind of expand it in your heart and make it like, and 
so that you can understand. You know, I was convicted to the point that I said, see, don't even, don't, I don't even want to, don't even give me any scripture. I don't need any scripture anymore. Even if you ask me for 50%, I will give you. Like, I got to that stage. Because I was not like, so, I'm, so, it was not a situation of, is that your money or God? See, I'm ready to give up. I mean, it's, it's, it's easy to say. You see, what other things I'm saying, I'm not just saying it out for you. I'm also speaking to myself. Because after I read, after I was done with the study last night, when I was about sleeping, I was asking myself, like, okay, you want to share this to people? Have this really blessed you? I asked myself that question because you have, it has to bless me too. It is not about me talking to people, including me, myself. When I got home and I was talking to my husband, I told him, I said, see, this is what I, this is what God showed me in church. And he said he has been receiving that same message. Because I had, one way or the other, I influenced my husband too. You get so and it was like he has been received. So I knew it was like it was it was too connecting. Everything was so connecting. So I knew that God was actually speaking to me. How much is it that you can't give? See, don't give because you want something in return. You can give because I think mo most of these funds go to like some people they take it for missionaries, they use it for the development of the kingdom and so what the pastor now uses it for is none of your own business too. it's not of your own business you're you've done your path leave it between you and god it's 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 just remove your hand from that one they are using remove it's not a, it's none of your headache it shouldn't be your headache anymore just remove your hand from it so i am just there i'm this i'm i am not like i said when i was talking you don't, don't make anybody your standard. I am not your standard. I am just sharing my own encounter with, with God regarding pain of the tithes. Regarding pain of tithes. That, that is my own encounter. It might be of help to somebody out there. That, is, that was my own encounter. Do, do you know how many blessings God blesses us? God blesses us, gives us life. You, the fact that you can even, like, it, it's too good. How much is 10% that we cannot give from our income? It's to help other people. To help other people. So that was my own encounter with God. I am not your standard. The only Bible is a, in fact, Jesus Christ is your standard. He said, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. Your pastor is not your standard. Your bishop is not your standard. Your reverend is so looking up to Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. The word of God. Make it your standard. The word of God. See, make it an make it an habit to always study the Bible. It helps. It helps you to discern what is not and what is not. It helps your personal study is important to you. Like, I have to stop this video here today. I have a lot and a lot to... I wanted to, like... I wanted to, like, um, talk about David. But I don't want this video to be super, super long. I will be talking about... You know, I still have a lot of faith series. I will still have to talk about David some other time. David is one of my favorite characters in the Bible. Yes. I would have spoken... I would have talked about the life of David. I would have opened our eyes to see... I wanted to I wanted to connect it to the to this giving of the thing. But maybe that will be in the next video. And then I get a, I got a message about somebody asking me to like do a video of how to write a motivation letter for scholarship and stuff. I, I you know I already I already plan to have a fit series this week. So I'll probably shoot down next week. I'll be talking about how you can write um um a good motivation letter. I don't know if that video will also include how you can apply for scholarships. Yeah, so I, I'm not sure yet, but I will surely talk about how to write a good motivation letter. Yes, yeah, so I'll do that in my next video. So thank you for coming today. Thank you for watching to the end. Thank you so much. If you've not subscribed, oh yeah, click subscribe while I'm late. Scripts. Click your subscribe button now, now, as I'm watching, as I'm looking at it. <laughs> if you've not liked, oh yeah, click. 
Just click. It will not take you anything. It will not take you. No, no stress. No pressure. Just do it. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate you. Oh, this is where I'll draw the curtain for today. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.